hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be doing a humongous old navy try on haul i really had to reel it in and pick out my favorite favorites because if not i was gonna to have to film like two separate hauls to get everything in it so a lot of really really great basics staples for the colder months moving into the winter i've got some really good jackets vests jackets all the long sleeves all the things so I'm um, really excited to jump into the video. A few things that I want to address first, my voice. Um, I'm still sick from the last video that I filmed, which was last week, uh, and I've just like lost my voice pretty much. So I'm hoping this video goes okay. I wasn't, I hadn't thought all the way through the fact that I need to talk in my try-ons. Um, if I can't talk the whole time, then I am just going to do a voiceover and I'll have to wait a few days to edit the video. But anyway, and number two, I got my hair done yesterday. So I went darker just like I did last fall with the money pieces in the front. I think it's really fun and edgy. Also in today's video, I do want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. So I'm wearing some new pieces that I want to share with you guys. Every single time I get asked what jewelry I'm wearing, it's always Ana Luisa. I've been wearing their jewelry for like over four years now. I remember that because I think I was pregnant with Knox when I first partnered with them. And I have honestly just been such a proud partner since. I love their jewelry. And last month I went on Instagram live with them and I shared like my full collection, how I layer up, my tips and tricks and stuff for layering and all of that and I feel like you guys just blew up my DMs a couple weeks later and were like I just got my Ana Luisa package in I'm obsessed I'm placing another order today like I was so relieved and happy to hear that you guys love their stuff as much as I do because I just rave about it and hearing back from you guys that you feel the same way just was so rewarding and I was so excited for you guys so if you haven't picked up anything from Ana Luisa or you're not familiar they are a jewelry brand that starts around $39 they're super sustainable which is their mission to provide affordable jewelry that is still sustainable and stuff that you can wear every day and i really feel that way like i feel like i have worn my stuff to death it still looks so nice so beautiful and it just really makes me feel put together the new pieces that i have on today one is this necklace so i just love this because all of my other ana luisa necklaces are kind of like shorter and like really nice for layering but this one i like that it's like not long and it's not short so this one's really nice if you want to like layer up you have a deep v or something like that but also just with like a basic top like this I think it looks really pretty another new item that I got are these earrings and these are just really pretty they're kind of like a unique shape so even though they're like a hoop they're not like a rounded hoop I like the size I think they're just perfect they're really nice again for layering up with and then something else that they recently sent me for these earrings which I feel like did they know that I was gonna color my hair because I didn't even know these literally I just feel like go with the vibe I love that they're a little bit edgier. They're like dainty, but still a statement piece just because I feel like they're unique. I absolutely love these. I think these would be so cute with a band t-shirt, layered up necklaces like this. Obsessed. I'm really excited about these, but I definitely wanted to mention them in this video. I feel like it's the perfect timing because there's plenty of time to order some gifts and whatnot for the holidays. And if you just want to treat yourself, like I said, it really makes me feel put together and pretty when I have their stuff on, even if I just feel like my life is a total mess. So silly but it's the little things i will leave my coupon code on the screen along with it down below along with all of the links to everything mentioned in today's video and my sizing for reference so without further ado before i lose my voice already let's jump into it all right guys starting out i have this basic long sleeve ribbed top with these jeans these are the sky high wide leg so these are super high rise they come up almost to like my ribs definitely above my belly button and they're just like a straight fit at the bottom i think these are really really cute i have these in a size zero they are quite big in my waist but they fit well everywhere else so i feel like they actually work i think because of like the loose fit it just works but they're really flattering i love the pocket placement super duper comfortable like these are so comfortable i could wear these over leggings um, i could definitely see myself like wearing these on the weekends chasing after the kids they're that that comfortable I love the wash and I threw on these boots. These are from Walmart. They're just like a basic Chelsea boot, but I actually saw the perfect Chelsea boot at Old Navy and they just didn't have my size. So I'm going to order them online, but I'll link them down below. They're like a flat black Chelsea boot. I tried them on in a seven. I need an eight. Um, I'm usually like a seven and a half, eight, and they were so stinking comfortable, even not in my size. So I'm so excited to get my hands on those because like I said, they're the perfect Chelsea boot. But yeah, I don't, I'm not, I haven't totally mastered like how to style this wide leg pant in the fall with like boots and stuff. But yes, this rib top is everything. I got it in my true size extra small. 
They had a ton of different colors. It's so flattering. The fit is perfect. It's not see-through whatsoever. It's decently thick, so I feel like it's very smoothing. And it also has like a really nice texture to it. Like it's very soft and cozy. I love this mauve shade. I think it's really, really pretty. But like I said, a ton of other colors. And it's not much to tuck in. Like it's only, it comes to about here. So I feel like it's a good length to tuck into your jeans. There's not a ton of fabric down there. And yeah, I just feel like these are really good basics and a good way to start off this haul. Okay, next up, I'm just going to try on some tops and sweaters with these same jeans. So not to say that I would necessarily style them with these jeans. But just so I can kind of get through all the items that I got, I picked up this black top. I think this is so nice. Can you guys see on the sleeve, it has like a plaid kind of pattern on it. But it's very, very subtle. It's more of like a texture. It has this really nice like smocked detailing at the top. And then it has two hook and eyes. So you can actually close it and do almost like a mock neck, which I think is so cute or you can leave it open. I have it tucked into these jeans and it tucks in flawlessly. I feel like this would be really great to tuck into some like dress pants or something for work, but it's also really great for casual wear. And it also has this little detail on the sleeve as well. Like it's almost like a layered effect, which gives it a little bit more volume. Okay guys, this sweater is so good. I have a sweater that I got at Target, I think last season or the season before. And it's very, very similar to this. I always, always get questions on it when I wear it, especially like if I'm wearing it in an Instagram story or something. And it's one of my favorites. This one is very similar because you can no longer get the Target one. Oh my God, my dog's like slowly backing up in the background. Does anyone else's dog walk backwards on hardwood floor? Fun fact about Braxton, he goes slow-mo backwards on anything shiny. I don't know if you guys could even hear him stepping, but it was like with his little nails. Anyway, this sweater is so good. I got this in my true size extra small. It reminds me so much of that best-selling Target sweater that I have and just cannot let go of. And I hate to wear it because I can never link it for you guys, but it's really, really soft. I love this kind of like big seam detail here on the shoulder and how it's a little bit bat winged. It's perfectly oversized in my opinion in my true size. I don't feel like I needed to size up at all. It's also the perfect length to front tuck. Again, something you can wear to work. Something you could wear casually and I love this mock neck. I'm not a big fan of like full-blown turtlenecks when it comes to sweaters, but a good mock neck that stands up on its own. It's got a little bit of structure, but it's also not like itchy or restricting. The sweater is a 10 out of 10 for me. I love it. So I feel like every year Old Navy comes out with really great sweaters, but for some reason this year I feel like they just hit it out of the park. I feel like they use a fabric that's similar throughout a lot of their sweaters and I just really really love it so it's leading me to like all the sweaters that I'm trying on this is so gooey soft and cozy I absolutely love the zip in the front this also came in black and may have come in other colors as well but I absolutely loved the gray it does have a silver zipper so I felt like the gray it just made it a little less um, like noticeable whereas the black one had the silver zipper so the zipper just kind of stood out so depending on what kind of contrast you want but I just absolutely love this it's a beautiful knit ribbed sweater it's got like good length to it too but I have mine front tucked which it front tucks perfectly because of the weight of the sweater it just like hangs really really well so cute and I love how low this zips like I feel like a lot of these zip to like about here which is still very cute but I don't know I like it more open again because I just love to layer up my jewelry so this is like the perfect combo going on and I just think this is really cute I feel like this would also look good with my Spanx leggings and sneakers and like a little vest or something but also looks really cute with just jeans boots jeans sneakers whatever all right last basic sweater and then we'll kind of move on to some different looks but I feel like I just showed you guys the three sweaters that you need for the winter this one is for my v-neck lovers. I generally don't go for a v-neck, but if I'm going to wear one, I always like size up. So I actually got this in a medium. So I sized up two sizes. I don't know if I really needed to do that. Maybe the small would have been okay because um, the bottom is like really quite oversized. But I don't know, depending on the way I'm wearing it, like if I were to wear this with leggings, I feel like I would love it in the medium. Um, I think it would be just long enough to cover like most of my bum, which I feel fine with if I'm wearing like my Spanx leggings. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Again, it's in that same like super soft, gooey, very, very stretchy fabric. I love that because I sized up. It gives me like a nice low V. It's also something that you could kind of like wear off the shoulder if you like that look. And it's just like the perfect 
sweater. It's the perfect v-neck sweater. So many colors, nice and oversized, but it's very basic. It doesn't have a big balloon sleeve or anything crazy trendy about it. You just throw this on with some jeans and boots and you're good to go. You look stylish and put together. Um, I always go for black, like if I'm just going to get a basic oversized sweater, I always go for black or cream because I find that looks good with jeans and um, like your favorite booties no matter what and you just look put together. Alright guys, I definitely think that this color would be a lot more flattering if I had a spray tan. I, oh my gosh, you guys have probably never seen me this pale. I literally cannot even, but um, this dress is so good. I'll actually take this jacket off in just a minute to show you guys, but I did size up and get it in a small, so I feel like there's a lot of like extra fabric in through here. I definitely think you can get your true size. Um, but let me show you the length of it. This is the length. So it's like to my knee. I'm 5'4". Really nice length. I threw on this little like chain belt. I'll link something similar because I don't even know where I got this belt at this point. I've had it for so long. But I used it to kind of like bring the waist up. But it's in this really nice thick ribbed material. It has a beautiful mock neck. Like I said, long sleeves. I think this color is stunning on the right skin tones, but they did have other colors as well. And then this blazer over the top is just so good, guys. I love this. I love the colors. I love the color of the lining so that when you roll the sleeves, you have that little peak of brown. Perfect weight. It's got the little buttons. If you did want to close it, you could, but I just love it open like this. Perfect for work or even with like jeans and sneakers a little like black mock neck underneath so stinking cute anyway i think this pairs perfectly i threw on some knee high uh boots from target i am see-through i'm literally matching the floor oh yeah one more shot of the jacket this is in my true size i think it's perfectly oversized i don't think that you need to size up at all and i'll take it off so you can see the dress this is the dress on its own of course with the belt so i have this quite folded i mean i'm eliminating inches off the hem but I think this is really, really cute, a good staple dress. It's very flattering, comfortable, stretchy. This would, oh my gosh, this would be so cute if you have a belly. For any pregnant mamas, this would be the cutest dress. I think probably just size up one if you're pregnant, um, and it would be perfect. And then it would also be something you could wear afterwards, which I think is great. It would not be easy to nurse in, though. Like, you'd have to be in leggings to nurse in this because you'd have to go all the way from the bottom. So... Not a good nursing dress, but a great maternity dress. More casual way to wear this blazer would be with jeans, boots, and this sweater that I also got from Old Navy. I'll take this blazer off so you guys can see this in a minute because it's so good. But I just feel like this is such a cute, like, casual look. And I really feel like if you wore some dress pants with this, you could wear it to work and then throw your jeans in your car if you're going out that night. And then throw some jeans on. Even if they were like black, like ripped jeans, I think that would be really cute. These are just like a basic um, blue jean. These are from Abercrombie. These are the mom jeans. These are like my favorite. But yeah, just any pair of your favorite jeans paired up with this. And it just looks really, really cute. Um, but this sweater underneath, I got in my true size. And it is, I would definitely say you could size down if you want it to be more like fitted. Because it does just feel like it's kind of falling off of me a little bit but it is so nice it's so soft cozy I love the soft square neck and the quality is just so good I have it tucked in um it is a shorter top so it goes literally like to here I barely had to tuck any fabric in and it's just like the perfect top it also has like kind of a low scoop in the back can you guys see that uh lots of different colors though I believe I don't know I feel like that's common with old navy they just make everything in a million different colors but yeah, this is a really good one. I wish they carried it in an extra, extra small because I would definitely pick one up. But I just feel like this is a little too big on me and unfortunately it doesn't work. But size down and this is a great staple to have in your closet. Surprise, I have a full-blown workwear look for you guys. So this top I did get in a size large because I actually got it to go with a sweater vest that I'm going to put on. And I wanted it to be long so that I could wear it with leggings. So I unbuttoned the bottom and like I took one side. So I like split it. So you have two pieces because um, it's a button up top. And I took one side and like twisted it and tucked it into my pants. And then took the other side, twisted it and tucked it into my pants. And this is the result I got. So essentially I really only have two buttons done. I think I have one button here and one button here. The rest is 
unbuttoned again for work maybe you want to do one more button but I love the way this looks it's like a little bralette kind of peeking out that would be super cute if you wanted to wear this top like out or with jeans but I absolutely love the way it turned out the way I twisted the top it looks super cute I had to tuck in the back just a little bit and yeah I feel like this just makes a really nice look so for these pants these are so cute and super like stretchy but definitely like a work pant material they're nice and thick they have really nice structure to them I would say I wish they were a little bit more high-waisted but I know not everybody loves high-waisted and I also feel like a good mid-rise like this is actually perfect for front tucking sweaters so you could definitely pair like that v-neck black sweater with these just do a little front tuck and that would be so stinking cute for work oh so, yeah I absolutely love these I got these in a size extra small I will say I tend to fit better in curvy fits almost every single time if there is a curvy fit I fit better into that so getting these up over my bum was a little tricky I think just for like my waist size I don't know it was I was like really having to shimmy into them because I couldn't find a zipper or anything anywhere so keep that in mind I think if you had to you could definitely size up one the waist has like an elastic band in it so it's stretchy I definitely feel like I could probably get away with a small as well um, they're just going to be less fitted on my bum so I feel like if you feel like your bum is proportionate to your body you probably be fine but if you're super hippie or curvy as far as like your bum goes then probably size up one but absolutely love this look I just paired it with some basic black booties of course you could do heels pumps whatever and that would be really cute as well alright guys here is the sweater vest that I was talking about so this is super cute it's like a traditional length like it comes right to here I put a belt underneath it so that it would stay kind of like cropped and up on my hip so that a lot of this uh, little button-up would show which I think is really really cute and a fun kind of more flattering way to wear a sweater vest like this with it I paired my Spanx leggings and just these snake boots that I got from Walmart a couple years ago I'll link some similar for you guys but I just feel like this is a cute look that you can wear to work again or something casually I think this would be really cute with sneakers too um, but I know that it's a huge trend right now to wear like a button up underneath a sweater vest and I've just kind of been playing around with it I really want a sweater vest um, dress because I think that would be super cute that would be more up my alley but I do really like the way that this look came out I think it's super cute and different and really comfortable I love this silky button up like I feel like I could wear this a ton of different ways and I will say it wrinkled up pretty quickly when I had it like tucked under those pants so um, it's probably something that you'd have to steam iron before you wear and just be careful like when you sit down and stuff but regardless I think it's beautiful and I really love how this look came out it's definitely different all right really quickly wanted to share this little ribbed um, basic with you guys because I'm about to throw something over the top but I've been looking for a white basic fitted turtleneck ribbed shirt like this for a while and for whatever reason I just like haven't been able to find a good one this I am so happy with I love the rib material it's really nice I love that it's not too long so if I wanted to tuck it in I could great great basic multiple colors and I just like the quality the feel the fit I think it's a really good one so I'm actually gonna throw on an oversized sweatshirt because I've been wanting like I said to find a little turtleneck like this to try out the retro trend with a sweatshirt over the top so I'm really excited I found one from Old Navy and let me go put it on. Right, my mom's super excited, so she's ripping into the Abercrombie boxes that just came in the mail. Here is <clears throat> the sweatshirt that I was talking about. I got this in a size medium, so I sized up two sizes. I think this is perfect. I love the way it pairs over this turtleneck. I think it's so thinking cute and retro, and it's just like a fun, I don't know, it's a fun new way to style your turtlenecks or your sweatshirts. And again, I just have my Spanx full other leggings on and some socks and chunky white sneakers. I believe these were um, gifted to me from Misguided, but I have some from Madewell that I really, really want. I don't even know why I haven't bought them yet because um, I feel like I would wear them all the time. So I'll link those down below as well as these if they still have them in stock. But this sweatshirt is great. It's like perfectly oversized. I feel like it would still be oversized even in my true size. It would just be kind of like a shorter kind of crew neck oversized sweatshirt when you size up then you can definitely wear it with leggings so I absolutely love this this is a full-on keep for me and I'm so excited to wear it this is like a cozy comfy little outfit all right guys this one is definitely a keeper for me I am obsessed with this puffer jacket this has to be my well it is my favorite one that I've tried on 
all season. I just feel like for a puffer jacket, it's like, oh, shoot, it's kind of hard to see. But it just feels a little bit trendier to me because it's oversized. It's quite puffy. It's a little bit longer in the back. It's kind of sporty, kind of not. It's got fleece inside the pockets, which is really nice. It's a super, like, thick, puffy jacket but at the same time it's a very lightweight like it does not feel heavy on me whatsoever it's very very lightweight and it's got a hood I don't know there's something about this jacket I just love it it makes me happy having it on I think it looks so cute paired up sporty like this but again I definitely feel like you could wear this with jeans and boots and it's just the perfect perfect puffer jacket I Super nice, high quality, great. This would also be a really nice gift for somebody for the holidays if they need a new coat. And yes, 10 out of 10. Okay guys, I hope you have been impressed with this haul so far because I just feel like so many of these pieces are just like good basics and things that you can style in like a really fun trendy way or in just a basic way, something that everybody will like. So this vest is just another one of those pieces. It's so good, came in multiple colors. I got it my true size and I think it's like perfectly oversized. It's a really nice length and like puffiness, not too puffy and not too like snug. Um, I love the way it pairs with this little turtleneck. I think this would be super cute with some high-waisted jeans and um, sneakers, but I also like the way it looks with leggings too. I just think this is super cute. It's so pretty and crisp and so great for like the holiday season. It just makes me think of the holidays for some reason. I feel like a puffer vest is a necessity. It's something you should have in your capsule wardrobe. Something that you can style a lot of different ways. All right, next up, guys, I have this tunic. I love this so much, and I love it with this turtleneck. I think this is so cute. I got it in my true size. This definitely looks like something that you would find at Lulu's or something, and it would be like $200. But this was so affordable. It was $49.99. I love it. It's so soft on the inside, cozy, and they had it in a bunch of different colors. It's perfect with leggings, like literally the perfect length in my true size. I think it looks so cute with these sneakers and this turtleneck. I love that it has a hood and the Sherpa is like a really nice texture. And I love how the back scoops down. Oh my gosh. So good. I'm obsessed. I might need this in another color. Oh, something I just realized I turned my camera off and I was like oh, it has pockets so it has pockets on the side seam which I love because it like leaves the front nice and simple so you don't have like the pockets here they're in the side seam but it goes all the way through genius this is like the best all right guys this jacket is definitely more of like a jacket I would say it's like a jacket that's on the jacket end if that makes sense this is Definitely 100% one of my favorite jackets that I've tried on all season. I did have to get a size small because they didn't have an extra small and I think I would like it even more in my true size. But this is everything. I love the way it scoops down and has that, um, what is this called? Tulip detail on the side. And it's got the fleece pockets, so it's super cozy. I love the plaid pattern, although they had this in a couple different plaids and I think they had some solid colors as well. I just really love like the fit and the shape of this jacket. I think it's so good. It's super duper comfy and practical and I just really love it. Like I honestly, I might order this in an extra small and the last thing I need in my closet is another jacket, but this is more of a jacket. I also don't need more jackets, but I like this more than 90% of the jackets I already own. So I don't know. I do. I really, really love it so much and I would just say get your true size. I think it would be plenty oversized. I paired it with this bodysuit that's like a long sleeve. Sorry, I'm rushing a little bit at this point because I gotta go get the kids soon. But it's a cute little square neck bodysuit. So it's double layered, so it's like a really nice thick material. It's kind of got like a soft material on the inside. It's ribbed on the outside. Super flattering. I have it tucked into my Spanx. You guys can see the line right there. It's not a thong back, so I would just wear it when I'm like wearing stuff that covers my bum. Yeah, definitely wanted to mention this bodysuit. I'm failing at this at this point. Let me turn the exposure up. I get all rushy and then I'm like, I'm gonna, 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 gonna. yeah, nice little basic bodysuit. Highly recommend multiple colors. And this jacket is going in my closet. My husband's deployed, okay? It's retail therapy and he doesn't know what's new and what's not. Although sometimes I FaceTime him and he's like, 
that sweatshirt new? I'm like, no. I have this jacket and then one other Sherpa jacket to show you guys. So this one is really good. This is definitely like a true jacket. I love the color of this one. Again, I did have to size up to a size small. That's all they had. And I think it would be much better in my true size. So I would say if you want it oversized, go with your true size. If you want it really oversized, then maybe size up. But I do feel like I'm swimming in this a little bit. I love the color though. It's like a nice like tan cream color. Um, kind of like a beige gray. Beige gray? What do they call that? Grayish? Um, and I love the tortoise shell buttons. It's really, really comfortable. I have a long sleeve on underneath, so I can't tell you if it's itchy, but it's definitely not itchy with a long sleeve, so that's good. And it's really cute. Again, I love how it comes up on the side. It's very legging friendly, and it's just a good layer. Like, this one's not going to be as warm as the last one I shared, because that one's, like I said, more of a jacket. This one's a little bit lighter, but it's still heavier than a shirt for sure and it's got a little more structure to it it does have pockets but yeah absolutely love this same leggings by the way these boots are from target i will link them for you they're my fave they're like a must must have but one more jacket to go all right guys last piece and i feel like this is such a great one to end on as i was putting this on i was my mom was sitting here and she's like wow it's a lot of really great basics in this one i'm like that's what i said a million times in this video because i just that's how I feel. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I did size up to a size small intentionally because I could tell that I was going to want it more oversized. And I think this is perfect. It's just a cute like oversized little zip Sherpa. It definitely looks like something you could get from Lulu's and it would be so much more expensive. And this was very affordable, $49.99. Super cozy, soft on the inside. And I love the tone of this nude. It's like got a hint of like a blushy color I don't want to say pink but it's like a tone it's got a blushy undertone and I just really love that that tends to be um I don't know a flattering color for me and I think for a lot of skin tones so it's not like too neutral that it's hard to wear it's a really good color but they did have this in multiple colors I love the seam detailing and just everything about it it's perfect I love it so much all right guys that is absolutely it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you subscribe Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was or your favorite look from today's video. And don't forget to check out Ana Luisa in the description bar as well with my coupon code and all of that. And I love you guys so much. I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.